I'm sitting here reading comments from yesterday's vlog and someone said, she's, I was like, yep, I'm here watching her eat that sandwich today and tomorrow I'll be listening to her complain about her tummy. <laughs> the last meal I had before accepting that I'm lactose intolerant was a deep dish pizza from Lou Malnati's in Chicago. I suggest picking one last meal and cutting it off completely. Happy Vlogmas. I've told myself I will have one last meal so many times and I'm typically really, really good about dairy. Like every day, I don't have it every day at all. I probably have it like, I'd say like two to three times a month and I'm, I am wrecked, but I won't complain. But I might complain a little because I was just telling Alex, I don't feel good. I literally am drinking digestive tea because I just, I still, I feel tired and lethargic from that sandwich. Granted it was 12 inches, but I'm just glad you guys know my stomach issues too. <laughs> I have my weekly little tap-in call with my team in a few minutes. And Link looked bored, so we're gonna go to the park. She loves it because it's cold, and usually she can't last long at the park because she gets so hot, but she has like endless energy in the cold. I always forget she's literally made for this. She's a husky. More cabbage, and somebody, oh, you're just gonna pee right there? Okay. Somebody commented on my last video and was like, saying that cabbage is planted because it can last through cold and frost. So that's why New York is covered in cabbage right now. I had no idea. I thought it was just like a, kind of thought it was a prank to be honest. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, I almost fell. fetch for like three throws tops and then she's over it i'm so cold look at my nose i can't like it's it's fully numb i'm freezing i have to make butternut squash soup forgot i had this and it's like the coldest day it's been so let's do it i'll show you how it's so easy if you're not someone who cooks a lot i promise this is still like the easiest recipe to do you just have to roast it and blend it there's no crazy cooking involved it's just a lot of waiting and blending that's all you need um i'm gonna preheat my oven to 400. i'm still learning how to use this oven boom i'm gonna wash this and then cut it in half this way like long ways Now I'm just gonna scrape out the insides into the trash. I actually don't know if you, these are edible the same way that pumpkin seeds are. Cause I know like when you clean out a pumpkin, you could save these, dry them out and then roast them. I've actually never looked into it, but I'm gonna throw these out and then we'll roast it. Okay, so now these are halved, they're all cleaned out. Ooh, great noise. cookie sheet. I'm going to oil them up. I'm going to put some garlic, salt, pepper. I think I might have some herbs. What is this? Like thyme, sage. Ooh, sage and butternut squash is good. Actually, I'm not gonna put garlic in it when it roasts. I'm actually gonna cut this, put this in foil and make roasted garlic on its own. And then when I blend it all together, I'll put this whole bowl of like nutty roasted garlic in the soup.
hold the top of the rosemary and then pull it down and then you have all the rosemary just like rough chopping it okay now I'm gonna roast these totally upside down on the cookie sheet I think I'm gonna stuff some sprigs of thyme in the little well you could put anything in here some yellow onion would be good even some garlic but I'm already roasting my whole bulb just like as much as you could stuff in the well as possible will kind of help infuse it while it's roasting because they they stay face down the whole time so I'd imagine it'd help right okay now I'm gonna put these in the oven 400 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes this is like like a medium size so probably this will probably be around like 25 minutes but just look at it you'll know um, I'll show you in a sec but the skin will definitely appear roasted the more roasted the better it'll be a lot creamier and whatnot so I'd say like 20 to 30 minutes oh my oven rack is still hella low from the turkey I'm gonna put it like the second to top rack oh I forgot put the garlic in there too just anywhere on the cookie sheet <clears throat> okay see you in 20 minutes or two seconds it smells so good in here. It smells like Thanksgiving all over again. Honestly, kind of better. Butternut squash just has like a way warmer smell. So it's, I don't know, I like it more. It's been, I think it's been like 25 minutes. I hope, I want to check them though. Hmm, I could already tell I want to go a little bit more. Even like based off how these are still hard, kind of want to be able to peel the skin off. I'll show you when it's done, what I mean by that. Much better. Okay, it should be done. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Tell it's squishy. I'm gonna let it cool a little bit and then I'll start to open it up and get all of this stuff out. Taste test. Don't do that right out of the oven, but it's so good. Okay, now I'm gonna carve it out and put it into a pot. Okay, that's all in a pot. Now I'm gonna add this roasted garlic. Look at it, focus. No, focus on my garlic. There we go, wait. <laughs> Look at that, oh my God. I just eat the whole thing. It's still kind of hot to squeeze. Okay, so at this point, you could start blending. I'm gonna add a little bit of turkey stock just because that's what I have left over. Any type of broth you have would be good. Honestly, you could even do water if you don't have broth on hand. Um, it really just depends the texture that you want the soup to be. I like a little thick, but I don't want it to feel like I'm eating like yogurt thick. I want like still something I could pick up with bread and make it kind of soupy still. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the stock I have on hand, also a little bit of olive oil. I'm just gonna start there and then blend it. Then we'll go in and taste and see. I, I'm sure I'm gonna have to add salt. I know I salted it before roasting, but again, depends what you want. If you want more of like a savory soup, you probably gonna wanna add more salt. Like I did rosemary garlic. I'm probably gonna wanna add probably onion powder, cumin, but that's just me. You could also just keep it butternut squash with just salt and pepper and have that really like hearty warm. You could even add nutmeg if you wanted. Oh, turmeric. I'm gonna add turmeric. Obviously it just brings a really pretty color. You don't really need it because squash is already the prettiest color ever, but also really, really good anti-inflammatory properties. Why not? Perfect. It's literally perfect. Oh my god. Holy shit. Perfect. I am just gonna heat it back up though because the stock I added was cold, but once it's heated up, then it's ready to serve. It's so quick. I sat on the couch the whole time until I blended it. Easy and nutritious and makes your house smell so good. <laughs> What 
is your little leg doing? Okay, so I got some mini stuff in the mail because you've probably noticed I have a new shelf. I don't want to show you it yet because it's not done, but a new shelf by my bed that is a fire escape. And instead of a shelf, I'm actually making it like a little homage to my life. Is that the word? I don't know. I just, I didn't want to decorate it as a shelf. I, I just love miniature things. Like you're literally, you're balancing on a mini violin right now. I've had this for years. Like I just love mini shit. So when I saw this fire escape ladder, I was like, this is such an opportunity to literally make a mini world for all my mini things. I first saw it on Urban, on Urban's website, and it was like $200, I was like, absolutely not, absolutely not. It, the first thing with anything expensive on Urban is, um, the first thing I do at least is just go on Google and type in the same thing, and you can usually find it a million other places. I feel like Urban used to be this kind of unique source to find unique things, but now it's like, you can get anything a million places for a million different prices. So I found it on Amazon for, I think it was literally like $35. I'll link it down below. But yeah, it, it's styled as shelves everywhere else. But I was like, mm, no, I'm making this a little set. So I just got a little wine bottle. It's like really good quality. I got all the stuff off Etsy. Like it actually says the vineyard and stuff. And then two little wine glasses filled with wine. So cute. Yeah, I'll show you guys the um, the finished product once I'm done decorating it. I'm almost done. This is some of like the last stuff I think I'm expecting. But I also need to like glue it down because uh, everything's so small that like literally if I walk past it too fast, the wind like knocks everything off. Because believe it or not, there's smaller things than this little wine glass on it right now. So I need to glue it down. What's this one? I love Etsy so much. There's always cute little things, little letters. Hi, Kristen. If you're happy with your purchase, could you please give me a good review? It really helps my shop. Thanks, Cami. Cami's Creations, Dollhouses, and more. Oh my God. What a life Cami lives. This is so cool. This is one of my favorite things I got. It's a little stained glass wall hang i actually don't know if i'm gonna hang this on the fire escape because like theoretically you wouldn't hang something outside on your fire escape like this is a very much like an indoor piece of decor so maybe i'll put it on my wall somewhere or this would kind of be a cool necklace way kind of sick a stained glass necklace i don't know we'll see either way i'm obsessed i love stained glass this is stained glass my grandma made me it and stained glass reminds me of my grandma, so I love this. <laughs> What's this one? Am I just like nerding out right now? Is this not interesting? Is this weird? I don't know what it is. I just love miniature things. Always have since I was a kid. I guess it's not that weird of like a thing to like. I feel like a lot of people like mini stuff. See, okay, it's not weird because clearly there's a community that I'm buying from right now that likes it just as much as me because I didn't even order a shopping bag. It just came in a mini shopping bag. You're kidding, no. Like what? There's focus. I don't even want to unwrap this. It's so cute. My grandma actually used to decorate dollhouses. She had two big ones. I think she gave, or my grandpa gave one to my sister because I have a niece and um, assuming she'd like to play with it and whatnot. What is this? It's a mini thank you card. Oh my god. It says, I appreciate your order. Thank you. This is so fucking cute. Um, anyway, yeah, my grandma like fully decorated them so well too. So maybe that's why I like mini shit. Look, there's like a mini sticker on the tissue paper like you're actually unboxing a present. How do you even order a sticker that small? Are you kidding? I feel bad ripping this. Oh, mini books. Oh my god, and they came in like a mini little string. I got Peter Rabbit, The Little Prince, The Secret Garden, The Wind in the Wallows, and I can't read the last one. I was about to say, I need my glasses. They're literally on my face. I actually need to get my eyes rechecked. That's what I need to do. And then I want to say this is another book. I'm not sure. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> It's a, it's a mini macrame plant holder because I have some plants coming. Like, are you kidding? This is a very niche, niche thing. Anyway, there's my mini haul. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you guys all of it when it's done. Oh my God, I can't. I don't want to get rid of this bag. Literally like, where can I put it? What other mini things can I show you? Oh my God, look at this. I think Kaya got me these last Christmas. It's a mini phone. This is like heavy too, like it's really nice. Can you see it? Mini phone and then mini pair of dice. So cute. 
Here's my collection. Oh, my camera's gonna die. <sighs> All right, I would keep a hundred. Hold on. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. I hate to admit it, but my throat kind of hurts. It's like, it's not like scratchy or like painful. I just, it could be in my head too because I'm always in fear of getting sick. I just feel like a little, a little different. Let's call it that. It feels different. So I took it kind of easy today. I obviously had my soup and had a very like veggie filled dinner. I'm drinking tea. I'm about to take a bath. Gonna get some good sleep. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, I didn't wake up sick. I don't think I will, but I just don't feel a hundred and that's just never a good feeling. So I'm gonna go to bed. Happy Vlogmas day five. Only 20 more days left. Why do I still feel like it's like day one? Have a vlog and say bye. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.